All right, it's been an interesting morning so far. Apparently, YouTube has been taking down videos that are connecting 5G to the coronavirus. Remember that dream I was talking about a couple weeks ago? According to the theory, and apparently there's some medical evidence to back this up, if your system is invaded by some outside influence, say like 5G radiation, your cells will secrete a substance that will come up positive for the coronavirus. Don't get me wrong, the virus and the outbreak is real. However, they've come up with a clever way to make it seem a lot worse than it really is. To make the numbers inflated beyond what they really are as far as the illness goes. From a mechanical standpoint, it's starting to look like they need 5G a lot more than we do. In other words, we don't really need that much faster download or upload speed. It has more to do with the surveillance and the machinery that they need to run that requires such load on bandwidth that only 5G could keep up with it. In other words, remote control drones and a whole myriad of other types of machinery that would be compatible with 5G so that they can operate their system. Or at the very least, that's how it's starting to look. I've said this before and I'll be more than happy to say it again. They can't stop. They won't stop. Their crimes are too great. And seeing as how everything changed in 2016, they don't have any choice but to push forward and complete their life's work, as it's called. And they're counting on the people of the world to sit on their hands, say, stay silent, and just sit idly by as they institute all of it. One day you may be asked the question by your child or grandchild, what did you do during the great power grab of 2016? Were you in the thick of it or did you just look the other way and allow it to happen? And potentially allow the futures of beings or human beings that aren't even born yet to be stolen from them. <laughs>